taking blood cultures from a central line. A blood culture should only be taken from a central line when suspecting line sepsis. Peripherally obtained cultures should always be taken together with blood cultures from a central line. If the line is removed, the tip should also be sent for cultures. Clean your hand with alcohol hand rub by applying two pumpfuls of alcohol and carefully rubbing your hands until the alcohol has fully evaporated. Identify the patient and explain the procedure. Expose the patient and line appropriately, allowing comfortable access. Wear the apron. Put on non-sterile gloves. Open the gauze swab package as shown and without touching the swabs, place it back in the tray. Attach the blue vacutainer needle to the blood culture vacutainer and place it back in the tray, leaving it covered so as to maintain a sterile connection point. Check the expiry date on the blood culture bottles and make sure that the sediment at the base of the bottle hasn't turned yellow. Remove the seal from the blood culture bottles and fully open a chlorhexidine wipe and lay it onto the palm of one hand. Present the bottle top towards the center of the wipe and scrub the top for 20 seconds using a few different parts of the wipe. It is imperative to create friction and to allow the bottles to dry before use. Open the chlorhexidine wipe carefully and perform a hub scrub by thoroughly cleaning the port for 15 seconds, creating friction whilst doing so. Allow to dry. Remove the cap. Place the gauze swabs under the lime ports so that they are resting on a sterile area. Obtain the vacutainer, remove the needle cap and attach it to the port. Unclamp and insert the blood culture bottles into the vacutainer. There is no need to discard the first few mils of blood when blood culturing via a central line, as this might return positive cultures, indicating a line infection. Once all the required bottles have been filled with the appropriate volume of blood, reclaim the line and remove the vacutainer and needle from the port. Obtain the syringe prefilled with saline and remove the needle and cover, making sure not to touch the syringe tip. Central lines are to be flushed with a total of 20 ml of saline after blood withdrawal to ensure line patency. Unclamp the line and flush the first 10 ml of saline using a push-pause method throughout the flushing process. Repeat this procedure with the other 10 ml of saline and clamp the line whilst pushing the last few ml of saline to create positive pressure inside the line. If the line end is dirty, clean with a swab. Open the sterile hub without touching the connection point and close the port. Dispose of all items in an appropriate bin, remove your gloves and once again clean your hands.